Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news in the UAW GM strike. Tom Sir show here at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Everett Casimi. After 30 days on strike, there's some major developments. Local 4 News has confirmed General Motors leadership has paid a visit to the national contract talks at the Renson today, and this could signal a tentative agreement. Local 4 business editor Rob Maloney joining us live now in Romulus this afternoon to break down what we know and what this could signal, Rod. Well, you know, uh, Everett, here's the thing. I want to be very clear here. There is no tentative agreement, all right? But that said, Mary Barra, GM CEO, President Mark Royce were in the negotiations this morning. They went down, paid a visit to the negotiators. Now, it is highly unusual for this to happen, and even when it does, they don't do any negotiating. It's obvious that they were there to try and push this thing over the end, over the uh, line, the, the goal line, and uh, end this 30-day long strike. Mary Barra's appearance would make it the second time in a week she's personally involved herself in these negotiations. The last time was last Wednesday to exhort the UAW to counter a GM offer. That counter came on Friday. On the picket line in Romulus, where Local 163 has its members walking the gate outside Romulus powertrain, this is welcome news, especially to longtime veteran Dwayne Winter. Oh, I'm holding the hope. I, you know, we, everybody wants to go to work. They just want to be, you know, treated decently, that's all. Nobody here wants to become, you know, millionaires or anything like that. We just want to, we want to make a living, you know. There is another significant signal negotiators may be on the doorstep of a deal. Last night, this letter went out to UAW local presidents to fly or drive to Detroit for a meeting Thursday at 10.30 a.m. for an update at the Rensen. They make up the subcouncil, which decides whether to accept the tentative agreement. And while there is no TA yet, and these meetings usually are called after a TA, it leads former GM negotiator and labor analyst Dr. Arthur Schwartz to consider multiple options about what's going on here. The optimistic me hopes that they're near a settlement and they're bringing them in uh, to give them what the settlement is. Uh, but it could be some other things too. They could uh, be close but off on some issues and they want to find out if, they, if the uh, chairman and presidents think they can sell what they've got so far to the membership. So that leaves the possibility of getting to a tentative agreement between now and uh, say Thursday morning at 10:30 a.m. and there is that possibility that we could see marathon negotiations between now and then. Reporting live in Romulus, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Alrighty, Rod, thank you for the update there.